we are going to be looking at the swirl quilting template from the dab line quilting template set. This swirl template uh, comes like this. Uh, when you first get it, it's going to have a film, a protective film on the top of it. So we're going to go ahead and take that off. So in your box from Dabline, it's going to come with this little card with a little um, plastic disc that you will use to remove the film off of the templates. So this is just stuck on there with a little sticky tack. And you're going to take this and use the the very edge of it and just kind of gently rub on one of the edges of the template. You don't need to do it very hard. Here, I'm going to try to do it down in this corner just to get the plastic started. And once you get it peeled back a little bit, if you can see that I just got a tiny bit peeled and you should just be able to get a hold of it and start peeling. And it comes off really easy after you've got it started. So here we go. Around. And there we go. Now it's nice and clear and beautiful. And then you can just throw away the plastic. Um, so a little bit about this template. It makes these swirls. As you can see, it's a swirl shape. And you're going to be able to make little swirls that look like this. How cute is that going to look on a quilt? Um, so I'm going to show you how to use this template and we're first going to practice a little bit. So I've got this little practice rectangle here. And I'm going to prep here for us. So you don't have to do this step. This is going to be really good for beginners or if you just want to practice some. Um, if you look closely here on the template, there is a line that a straight line that goes all the way across. We're going to use that as a guideline. Uh, so I'm just going to draw some guidelines um, on my little practice quilt sandwich here. So I'm going to get my long ruler. I'm just going to draw a straight line. I'm going to use a, a disappearing ink pen. You can also use a Hera marker if you would like. That makes a nice little crease with this edge in the fabric and then you don't have to worry about washing off of ink or hoping that it disappears in time and things like that. So this works great too, but for um, showing you how to do it, we're gonna use the ink so you can see it really well. So I'm just gonna make a straight line all the way across that I'll use as a guide. Like that. And then I'll make one a little lower. This doesn't have to be exact. But for practice, for practice sake, I'll tell you how far apart these are. These are four and a quarter, exactly four and a quarter apart. So that's just for practice, okay? So, oh, another thing that you can do for the template, so it's not, it's quite slippery on the fabric. Uh, so something that you can do is, these also come in the Dabline quilting template box. These are little, rubber grippies that you can stick onto the back of the template. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this just kind of helps the template stick to the fabric a little bit better. So the sticky side is going to go on the template. And I just like to put it right there in the corners. You can just do two corners. You can do all four corners if you want. I'm just going to do two because that's that works for me. I'll just do the opposite, the opposite corner here. There we go. And now it's ready. So we're going to take our template, our uh, practice quilt sandwich, the template um, grip. I'm going to take that over. And I'm also going to take over my dab line quilting gloves that came in the kit as well and these are going to help me uh just have a little bit more stability with the template on the fabric so let's head on over to the sewing machine and get started okay we are at my sewing machine uh before we're gonna practice using the templates we want to set up our sewing machine for free motion quilting 
So you're gonna wanna put your feed dogs down or put a little cover over your feed dogs so that they aren't pulling the fabric through. You're also gonna wanna set your stitch length to zero. So then you're in charge of the stitch length while you're moving the fabric under the needle. And you're also gonna wanna change your presser foot. Um, you're gonna wanna get a free motion quilting foot that is meant to be used with rulers. Now the reason why you want one of these feet that works for rulers is it has a much higher side. I call it a lip. It's a much higher lip. So when you're moving the template, here I'll show you real quick here. If you're moving the template underneath here, see how that is butting right up against the edge of the foot. If you were using a regular free motion foot, either a closed or open toed one, it would just be slipping the the template would just slip right under the right under the foot, right over the foot. It would just it would be a mess and it just wouldn't work. So you really need to invest in one of these free motion quilting ruler feet. <laughs> it's a mouthful. Um, once you have that all set up with your sewing machine, then we are going to practice the movements with the template. We are not even going to turn our sewing machine on yet. Now you can if you want to, but it, I, I have found it's a lot easier to first learn the movements of these templates um, before you actually start stitching. So I'm gonna lift my foot up here. I'm gonna take the grip. I'm gonna move it over here because we'll, we'll still practice with the lines here. I'm gonna take the template, stick it in the grip, and we want it facing right side up like this, okay? Our starting point is the center of the template. So we are going to line this straight horizontal line on the template. I'm going to line that up with that guideline that we drew. Okay, just like that. And then I will put my foot down in that starting point. I'll put my presser foot down. Now we're just going to practice the movement. So we're just going to follow along on the edge of the template, making sure you're staying nice and even and smooth all the way around. Slow and steady wins the race with these templates. You don't want to speed up because it might get all er, 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 herky jerky and it, it just won't look great. And you want those stitches to be nice and even and beautiful on your quilts. All right, now when we hit the stop point, you stop. If you're stitching, you'll, be, you'll stop stitching. Now we're gonna turn the entire thing, the grip and the template together. I'm gonna turn it 180 degrees all the way around. And still we wanna, again, line that horizontal line up with our guideline. And then we'll go back around the other way. Drawing those beautiful swirls all the way around. Make sure that that foot stays up against the side of the template. And there you stop. And that's how you create a squirrel, create a squirrel, create a swirl. It's gonna look like that. When it's all stitched, it's gonna be beautiful. So go ahead and practice that as many times as you need. And then once you are ready to actually stitch, we'll go ahead and start stitching. Okay, I went ahead and did a couple of practice swirls here on my little quilt sandwich. And I'm going ahead and getting my gloves put on. Got my cute dab line gloves on, very cute. And we are gonna get a template put on and we're gonna do some swirls. So I am going to line up that horizontal line with the guideline that we drew on. Get my quilt sandwich positioned underneath the foot. 
Remember the center of the template is the starting point. Now let's stitch. Remember to take it nice and slow. Try to move, move as smooth as possible. So here we go. stop in the stopping position. Now we're going to turn the grip and the template together 180 degrees. Line up that horizontal line with our guideline and then I'm going to go back around taking it nice and slow keeping my stitches at a good pace. Here we go. If you need to stop at any point, you can. Uh, you just want to make sure that your foot is always pressed up against the edge of the template. That's going to keep these curves nice and smooth and beautiful. And stop. And there we have a swirl. Move this aside so you can see it. That looks great. So cute. All right, I'm going to do one more for you guys so you can just watch and see how it goes, okay? I'll speed it up a little bit this time, too. So again, I'm lining my lines up, getting in the starting position, and here we go. And there we go. Aren't those swirls fun? Thanks for watching.